Welcome to week 23 of Math Logic Wealth on ramps and off ramps. Today, we're covering the five most important concepts about getting money into and out of life insurance policies. This sets the foundation for next week's product rankings, where we'll be evaluating products largely based on the quality and availability of their ramp strategies. So, what are they? What are ramps, on ramps, and off ramps? Well, on ramps add money or enhance the policy's value, and off ramps pull money out for living benefits or reduce the costs. You know, why they matter is because unlike stocks and bonds you can sell anytime, life insurance has contractually defined windows. Product specific strategies mean each type offers different opportunities. Timing's everything because these windows operate on predetermined schedules, not based on your preferences. Here's how life insurance works. I do this picture of premiums coming in, and I say, that's your choice, and the interest you want to maximize, and then you have this part at the bottom where you get insurance costs and fees coming out of your bucket. Well, notice this interest component. That's exactly what it is. It's interest, and it's tax-deferred until death occurs. Now, here's a micro-sweetener specific to YRT Universal Life that can significantly impact how well it works. Use the PAR-like fund to pay the PAR-like mortality costs. So your additional deposits can focus on long-term growth. This avoids reverse dollar cost averaging where monthly mortality charges withdraw money out of the policy at market prices that never recover. By separating mortality cost management from growth strategies, we get better returns with less risks. This demonstrates that each product offers different opportunities and collaborative intelligence helps us discover these product specific strategies. You know, the second idea I wanted to share was that optimization is done through what we call sweeteners and micro sweeteners. Major sweeteners are covered throughout our course. We even have a section, classes 31 to 38, that focuses entirely on product sweeteners. Micro sweeteners are smaller features that can significantly impact outcomes. The challenge, these, these change constantly. And no individual advisor can track all the variations across all the companies all the time. So this part drives our collaborative intelligence approach. Here's our complete 50-week course outline. Notice the product sweeteners that we're coming up to. They cover a whole bunch of eight weeks, full weeks covering these things. Um, corporate ownership, capital dividend account, bank financing, and more. This demonstrates why sweeteners require collaborative intelligence. Week 23, where we are now sits right at the transition between foundational knowledge and advanced optimization strategies. Yeah, number three this week, three of five slides only. You can't smoke them if you don't have them. Yeah, we're talking about product-specific ramp strategies. You need all three participating products, which excel at controlled increases and third-party bank loans. Then you got non-par products, which locks in the insurance cost today and and provides guarantees that PAR just doesn't have. It can be designed with cash values, increasing death benefits, or without. And then you have term, which offers valuable conversion on ramps and clean termination off ramps. Here's our product rankings. We're showing each product earning a B-plus rating for different reasons. We start with the convertible term, the flexible starter. Yeah, we look through all these other things. There's a whole big section in the middle of the bond-like section of the portfolio. And of course, we get down to the bottom with PAR. But this proves why diversification across product types becomes essential. The details here are explaining how each one has different fits and, and can guarantee different things and can address the future with on-ramps and off-ramps. So when I look at this, I say, you know what? Timing is everything. And I wanted to talk about one major strategy that resides in the industry for all of us, a micro sweetener. This lets you transfer life insurance into your corporation and get back most of the money you've paid. So you're talking to the 41 year old about, will you incorporate in the future? Yeah, that's a possibility. Okay, if you do, we can move the policy in and get most of your money back. The earlier you do it, the better. It's changed from the old days when transfers into the corporation needed an actuary to calculate the fair market value. It's still a simple and effective way to get the policy into the corporation and pull money out tax-free. And we've used the tax-free corporate money to pay back shareholder loans. I think it's also great if you want some more details, talk to me about it. But it's nice information to share with accountants if you're so inclined. 
And here's an example. This client's 41, pays 82, 96 for 10 years. Then they put in 82. They want to pull it out. The amount that it's reduced by is only 10,376. They actually get to pull 72,058 out of the corporation tax-free. That's 87% recovery. And the corporation now owns a million dollars of coverage. You know, the math works because we're working together and we know the new established transfer provisions are greater of ACB and CSV. It's fun to work together. So this is the biggest ramp. I said, I'd say for number five, what is the single biggest ramp on, off everything? If I had to pick just one and I did pick something, one thing consumers should know, and it's what the life insurance actually costs. We should create an indisputable baseline and then add to it if people want. It's not an asset class. It's a portfolio consideration for locking in future guaranteed dollars. And the life insurance companies do it fairly, but we need a baseline that's constant and mathematical. And here it is. What's the real cost of life insurance? Used to be termed to 100. No more. It's now YRT at 85. So, okay. They don't like the idea of the charges continuing to 100. I'm good with that. No more charges after 85. The company publishes each year's cost of insurance right from the start. It's in the contract, guaranteed. And there's nothing like it in the US. The investment risk has been transferred to the policy owner. I think our job is to assist them in minimizing that risk. I think it's quite doable. You manage it. You check it out every few years by asking insurance companies to recalculate it. You know, we know, and you should know that the target is zero cash value at age 85. And it has to be the correct number because the information has something in it. You see the little blue section with the yellow number? It has to be correct. That's the weighted average cost of capital because it belongs to the consumer. They decide it. And then it tells them their story mathematically. The cost is the cost. Here's how you might want to fund it. We can't do anything else legitimately other than, hey, let's look at some sweeteners. But it's the correct place to start. It creates that foundation. I'm excited about this. I think it's a game changer. It's a tool that cuts through the industry's noise by providing some form of mathematical transparency. You know, this calculator serves as the foundation for what I consider our primary mission, rebuilding trust between advisors and clients. It's revolutionary. We're just doing our job. But you know, I think now we're focused on math rather than emotion. Um, clients can verify the analysis with their financial professionals. We've created that baseline for comparison. Indisputable, constant needed. That's what you need for any kind of scientific evolution evaluation. And it addresses the number one objection, the price cost. Deal with it up front and transparently. We're now also transferring credibility from the client's accountant to the advisor by doing it this way. On-ramps and off-ramps prove why life insurance requires different thinking. This is the only time I've actually put a subtitle on the class number. This one on ramps and off ramps, I put collaborative intelligence for professional ex excellence. And I think that's what's going to take. I think all our futures are tied in with this. You know, we've gone through it, limited windows, product specific strategies, timing being critical. And these evolving sweeteners create complexity that requires collaborative intelligence. Well, next week, product rankings based on weighted criteria. Together, we know virtually everything, so let's keep this going. This collective approach represents the future, in my opinion, of professional life insurance advice.